so this is the piece obviously we're gonna have to weld back in there but this cross member right here fits like a glove just like that so we got to clean this up gonna throw some rust proofing primer on there but I got the old one out over here and in the last video I made reference of uh, how they used fucking caulking or whatever back in there. This thing's rotted right the fuck out. I need to salvage these pieces too. We don't dare to open up that garbage can because it's got the rotten chicken in there still. That's why the flies are hovering around. I used to rock the self-etching primer, man. I'm using this stuff. Anti-corrosive coating that has excellent adhesion and flexibility. Applied on steel or galvanized metal, it stops a rust by electrochemical action, even in highly corrosive environments. And this stuff coats really well too, as you can see. Ah, oh, it's been all over my fucking finger. What the fuck is going on here? All right, I just jumped ahead quite a bit right now. I had to drill these ones out because of the double flange. The hole punch when it goes through it, but I hole punch these ones. Got the clamps, weld all those into place. Get that put in. I didn't film it because you guys have seen this tool used many times, so. I'm gonna spray it down with that spray can. It's got a massive leak until I can get some new ones tomorrow. There's like an o-ring in there that that shaft sits on and it looks like that o-ring is torn so shit just comes pouring out of there kind of pisses me off but it is what it is but okay this is all done gotta let it sit for tomorrow so we can start fitting her up yeah this project's really coming along now once i get this inside that's gonna be the last thorn in my side for a little bit well still lots to do but this is a pretty major section. Yeah, that's it. I'm done for the day. Went hiking today. <sighs> Came out here for a few hours in the garage. Got some shit done. I can get a lot of shit done if I put my mind to it, but spend more time fucking around. That ah, winter's coming. I'll get a little bit more serious more towards winter. Then winter time, I'll just fucking slack off like I usually do. <sighs> All right, we're back. It's another new day. We're going to continue putting that trunk piece in. Fuck, today I had another interview for a job. Hopefully it turned out to be pretty good. It seems like the guy that used to work at Pepsi that took my position is just got hired on there and they're looking to hire somebody else. So we'll see what happens, but. Picked up a couple cans of self-etching primer, but this shit here, man, this stuff's expensive. It's like 22 bucks a can. So I hope the O-ring doesn't blow out again because that's a waste of stuff. I so think yesterday we welded that piece on and uh, I made my marks right here. We're gonna go every two inches. Got that bottom piece of that sprayed. This is all sprayed that's gonna dry and hopefully by the time we clean off this, we'll be ready to put into place. This is gonna be a big job, so we're gonna start fresh in the morning. See these body lines right here almost fit 
absolutely perfect. This section's gonna have to get cut out. This is where the spare tire would have went. There would have been like a little carrier in there, but there's a plate welded in there and you can see right there. I don't like that, so we're gonna redo that. But this panel has been replaced. And fucking, we're not even close. Not even fucking close. So I don't know what I'm going to do there. All right, it's the following morning. I just came outside because it's gonna start raining today. And it's supposed to piss rain tomorrow. Surprise, surprise. So we're going to start tack welding this into place. Focus. See that tab right there? Slide underneath. That's pretty dead on right there. I got that clamp on there, so we're gonna start throwing some spot welds to hold this section in. We're only gonna weld her into place up to here. We're undecided on that yet. I have a plan, but I'm not gonna discuss it yet. So I'm gonna get some tools that are gonna start bringing these gaps close together. I picked these up because I figured they might be the greatest invention ever, but it could be a pile of crap. We're gonna find out. There we go, look at that. Man, that is perfect. We're gonna have to come along a little ways, probably only up to around here. Then some parts of the middle's overlap, and so we're gonna have to cut that. I don't know if there's someone else that makes this tool, but this cutoff saw is the best. It's from Mac Tools. Now we get to play connected dots. As you guys saw in the video, so I go from here to here to here. That's to prevent warping. This has got a lot of bends in it, so I'm not sure if it would really warp all that much, but I don't want to risk it. So we're going to fill all these into everything's one solid line. Then we're going to start grinding her off.
took a little bit of time, but we got it all welded together. Nice and solid too. And now we're gonna start grinding all this down flush. Alright, here we are all grinded down. Right down in here, it's kind of fishy because this body line's okay and then it comes over here, but then the existing body line is like a quarter inch wider. Otherwise, this came in pretty smooth all the way up to here. Don't have to really worry too much about this because that's going to be covered up with these plates. You don't have to spend a lot of time in there screwing around. But that part's done. Hasn't started raining yet, so I think it's motherfucking beer time. Cruiser All Day Pale Ale, Amsterdam Brewery. Even the bottle cap's pretty cool. Cruiser All Day Pale Ale Smooth, 4.9% Golden Pale Ale that has a refined drinkability and rich tropical flavors. Hmm. Let's find out. I'm gonna save the cap because it looks cool. Like all pale ales, it does have some bite to it, but it's pretty good. This would be a good sit in the pub and drink kind of beer. Because you couldn't pound it. But it'll keep you in check so you don't become loser drunk. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. We got part of that trunk put in. The other part, we're going to have to figure that the fuck out. Because it is going to be a shit show fucking level 10. Cause I'm probably gonna have to cut out that one piece that was welded in and I uh, I haven't decided yet but it's gonna be a fucking shit show. Anyways, I'm gonna get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you for watching. Remember, cruiser all day, pale ale.